I never planned on her dying at a young age. I always just thought, we're going to be better than everybody else and fight harder. <laughs> Emily Hager was born with a fatal genetic disease, cystic fibrosis. When I was born, uh, doctors told my parents that I wouldn't really graduate from high school, that I wouldn't, um, that I wouldn't make it through my teens, really. And now, the life expectancy is doubled to 37. Until recently, children with cystic fibrosis died before they reached adulthood. Today, major medical advances allow patients like Emily, now 26, to live active, productive lives. I meet people who are in their 30s and their 40s with CF, and I actually know someone who's in their 50s, and that, that to me makes a huge difference because I just get to know, okay, you know, I don't feel well, but I know that there's a future for me. We have lived a life of hope, but I think there was a point where we had to really think about, um, you know, is college a possibility? Well, the life expectancy is going up. Yes, we can expect college. You know, will, will, will Emily have boyfriends? You know, yes, we can expect that. Um, but, you know, we're always looking over our shoulder to see if the clock that's ticking is catching up with us. Emily's parents, Diane and Stefan, have done everything possible to increase the length and quality of Emily's life. When she was eight, she was hospitalized for her first of many lung infections. We learned at that time that every infection um, would cause some lung damage, and lung damage would eventually take time away from her life. So we just developed a very proactive <clears throat> and preventive approach. I don't think that I would be as healthy as I am today at 26 um, if I didn't have my parents and my family supporting me, taking care of me, and really sacrificing a lot so that I could live. But staying alive and healthy requires constant diligence. Emily follows a rigorous routine of medications, vitamins, and chest therapy, which loosen the mucus that builds in her lungs. I think the hardest part about CF is, is the daily, ongoing maintenance. I don't really ever get one day to not do my treatments or not take my pills. I have to do it every day. <laughs> But not every cystic fibrosis treatment is tedious. Three years ago, Emily took up surfing. The salt water and the cardiovascular workout helps her keep her lungs clear, which keeps infection at bay. It's been interesting to watch both surfing in my life and then CF in my life um, kind of be linked in some way. I mean, I know that it's helpful to my body, but I think I've noticed the amount of patience and the amount of like perseverance that you need to keep going. And with CF, I mean, that's what the disease is all about. It's about patience, it's about perseverance, it's about motivation and keeping yourself going. Emily has become the ambassador for Pipeline to a Cure, a fundraising organization that brings the surfing community together with the cystic fibrosis community. I'm filled with so much hope. If I can use this disease to spread awareness and use my story to really share hope, I think that's kind of the purpose that I feel I have. I feel like it's a huge um, blessing and a huge honor to be an adult with CF um, because not many get to live that. I would love to see a cure in my lifetime and I actually think I could see it because they're so close to huge breakthroughs.